Uh, this is a good old Batman t-shirt. And I got Red Cross for first aid. Spiritual first aid. <sighs> okay, so we have a lot of people who think they are spiritual people. And um, they need further uh, spiritual teaching because they uh, are kind of caught in a trap. Kind of, pretty much caught in a trap. And so you have to know about spiritual traps. What trap are we talking about? We're talking about confusion about what's going on with you. You uh, may be somebody who gets very involved in dealing with negative entities. What's really going on is you're watching a mind body. It's either your physical body and your mind, or it's a dream body and your mind. And in your waking dreams, waking life dreams, or in your sleeping life dreams, they're all dreams. Whether you're wide awake now watching me on your computer or your smartphone or your tablet or if you're watching me in a dream I don't know if anybody sees me in a dream but if you're seeing me in a dream then it's a dream but the message is still the same you're watching something it's like going to the movies and you're watching a movie and you quite often feel like you're in the middle of this physical body or your dream body that's where you experience your reality from but you're watching a movie and it's a sensory movie so you might smell cigarette smoke yeah you, you can see all kinds of different oddball things you can hear things you can taste things you know the temperature of your skin you can feel that or you can feel you know my fingers flicking on here or somebody um, wiping a feather over your forehead you can feel all these things so beyond being a, a 3d movie it's a feely feely movie and they thought about these kind of feely movies i don't know way back in like the 1950s in the sci-fi but that's like a second version because you're already in a feely movie this body gives you a feely movie all the time now, the big spiritual trap is, okay, I'm going to use my body, either in a dream or in what I'm calling, you know, the waking dream, this right now, and I'm going to go and fight evil, or I'm going to be evil, or I'm going to ignore it all. But you're basically saying, this is what I've decided to do with my body, and that's what I'm going to do. This is a spiritual trap because you are uh, confused as to what you really are. At the heart of all of this, what you really are is awareness. You're receiving all the information that's coming through the mind and the body. And what the mind is doing is it's actually the thing that's entrapping you. The mind has you convinced that you are this body or another body that you're having in a dream. But this waking life, I keep putting videos up and saying, this waking life that you have right now, it's no different than when you're falling asleep and having a dream. It's all dream. So, I mean, if you... Wake up and realize that, oh, this is what's going on. I'm taking all this information in. Uh, you might look back to see what you were doing before. Did I think I was a magician that was battling astral entities and, you know, cleaning up all the horrible, horrible that was going on? I'm a um, U.S. attorney and I'm prosecuting bad guys. It's all a dream. But if you can get the part that you are not the mind that is producing this body, because the mind produces this body, 
you are simply aware of it all going on, then well, what happens? Well, that means that your mind has woken up. And it's incorrect for me to even call it your mind because you are not the mind. It's the mind that's associated with you. And if it wakes up to the fact that, oh, well, we've been creating all these scenarios as a group. You know, all the minds together are creating all kinds of cuckoo scenarios, a great apocalypse, you know, a shortage of toilet paper in Australia, 5G cell phone networks, chemtrails, nanobots, lobotomies, Chem oh, I don't know, I, I, just everything, you know, every time you turn on the news, it's something new, corona, or oh, the coronavirus, or cancer, or any other thing that's going on, it's all mind created either well i can't say let's go with it's all mind whether it's your mind or someone else's mind it's all being presented and again i keep saying your mind or someone else's mind and that is incorrect that's how easy the trap is that's how easy it is for me to fall into the trap because i'm using the wrong words i'm saying it's my mind or someone else's mind it's incorrect to say it belongs to any of us it doesn't it until it wakes up and you know my mind that's maybe it's not 100 percent awake because it keeps attributing what i am to being the body and the mind and i'm not i'm not but the verbiage keeps coming out wrong and it keeps coming out wrong for me and i'm aware of it uh, for the rest of you that don't get this point, it's going to be totally blowing you away. Because it's, what are you? You're just getting the information that comes through your body-mind. But it's a trap. It's a trap because you are not the mind. You are not the body. You are simply aware of it all. Some people say, say well... You know, they take it so many steps further than that. And they say, well, you are God. It's like, I have no evidence of that. The only evidence I have is that I, if I sit quietly in meditation and I watch the mind, I watch the thoughts arise in mind. And even when I open my eyes, I see with these so-called physical eyes into this dream world. It's simply awareness of everything that's all i can say people who say uh, awareness is god or aware well awareness is not necessarily god i don't know where people get that some of these old teachers but it's conscious i mean your consciousness but it's pretty much just stuck to awareness i mean the mind and the body gives you a form of consciousness but your awareness takes it all in, but your awareness can't turn it off. So actually, how conscious is the awareness? It's basically force-fed a scenario through this body-mind. And it's aware of it, but it can't do anything about it. And people say, well, I'm more than just my awareness. I'm my awareness... Plus, I'm my mind and I'm my body. And that's the spiritual trap. Because you have been sucked in to the idea that you are all those things. And you're not. At the heart of it, you're simply the awareness of all these goings on. And if you, I don't take credit for the words that come to me. Um, there's some aspect of this that listens to what i'm saying i keep going no that's not right it's very difficult to put it all into words i know i keep doing it over and over again but people just keep coming to my attention and they're caught up you know i'm a jedi knight out fighting the dark if you're really speaking truthful you're not you're not doing anything except being aware of all the goings on around you 
the thoughts in your mind, the idea that you are the body, the idea that you're on planet Earth, the idea that we're changing dimensions, it's all a lie. It's no more real than if you go into a movie theater and you watch what's going on the, on in the screen and you say, that's real. It's not. It's a movie. And everything that's going on here, it's just the same as going to the movies with additional feelings that come with it. So what are you supposed to do about it? You're in the, yes, you are in this spiritual trap. And, you know, even when you become aware of that's what's going on, then what do you do? You keep being alert. You keep being awake. You have to keep reminding yourself. And the, the verbiage isn't, it can't come well. Because it's all, all everything to do with the way I, exp I express myself comes from being entrapped in a body-mind complex. That's just the way we communicate in English. Dr. David R. Hawkins of Consciousness Research um, talked about how uh, the spiritual trap is um, getting lost in the astral realms. In other words, exactly where we are. Dr. Hawkins didn't do a good job to explain what I'm explaining to you. He called the astral realms, you know... It wasn't everyday life. He didn't get that bit. He quite often overinflated his ego. He had, um, and it comes out when he, well, I guess I'll have to let it go because he's still trying to use English to explain to people what's going on. And it's very difficult, very difficult. Because the people that you're, are listening to Dr. Hawkins are not a really awake to the information that I've just given you. So, to summarize, you are awareness. It appears that you are in the midst of a body, a physical body, and you have a mind that thinks, that feeds you information. And you consider yourself to be all these things put together. But the truth is, it's not true. All you really are is the awareness, the silent witness that seems to be within the head of the body, receiving all this information. And that silent witness doesn't do anything. It doesn't make the hand move. What makes the hand move? The mind does. And you seem to be associated with mind. Your awareness picks up what's going on in the mind, but you're not mind. The mind is very good at fooling you into thinking that you're doing things. You know, didn't I just do this? No. The awareness, the silent witness, doesn't do it. Who's moving the hand right here? It's the mind. And this particular mind that's associated with the awareness that's going on in here has been educated. It's been educated. And that's where all this information comes from for you. The mind is educated. And it knows how to describe these things because it's been educated. But how do you test to see if this education is true? You have to sit in meditation and you have to sit and sit and sit and focus on what's going on on the inside of you. Silent meditation where you're simply the awareness of everything that's going on. And the more you get this kind of a lecture, hopefully the more it's going to sink in into the mind that surrounds you that, you know, everything I said is accurate. Okay, I'm changing hats to give you a different perspective. 
we don't need any more perspective.